Welcome to Android Video Lesson Shorts Edition. My name is Sebastian Colbert, and in this lesson we'll learn about pickers. Pickers are ready to use dialogues for selecting time or date. Time picker allows for selecting hour, minute, and AM or PM, while date pickers allow for selecting month, day, and year. Using these pickers helps ensure that the time or date will be properly formatted in user's locale. The recommended way to create pickers is by extending dialog fragment. The dialog fragment will manage the dialog lifecycle and allow you to display the pickers in different layout configurations. The onCreate dialog method will initialize our time picker. It will need to return an instance of time picker dialog which takes in time picker dialog on time set listener interface as parameter to receive a callback when the user sets the time. In this example, it will be the host activity. In the host activity, you need to now implement the on time set method from the time picker dialog on time set listener. This is the place where you can react to a time set event. To display the time picker dialog, you can create a simple button with on-click call, which will instantiate and show the time picker fragment. The date picker has a very similar implementation as time picker. As before, you will extend the dialog fragment and declare onCreate dialog method, which will initialize our date picker. It will need to return an instance of date picker dialog, which takes in date picker dialog on date set listener interface as parameter to receive a callback when the user sets the date. As in prior example, it will be the host activity. Again, in the host activity, you need to now implement the on date set method from the date picker dialog on date set listener. This is the place where you can react to a date set event. To display the date picker dialog, you can create a simple button with an unclick call which will instantiate and show the date picker fragment. That is all for this lesson. Visit AndroidVideoLessons.com slash shorts to get access to source code for this and other lessons. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I wish you happy coding.